Hey guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday morning, and typically what I do when I come downstairs after I have a coffee, drop the kid off at daycare, and then have my second helping of caffeine in the form of a Mountain Dew, is I kind of just walk around the snake room and figure out, you know, what is going on that day. Um, obviously here, here's a pair of snakes and they're not hanging out. Um, no no locking yet. It's a, it's a new male. He's a super OD YB fire clown pied. Um, he's on the verge of, of being able to breed, but I just kind of wanted to throw him in with a female to see if there's any chance of a lock. Um, the, the biggest things that happened overnight yesterday were that my big lightning pied girl here, that's MJ Xanthic pied, is having one of the craziest, biggest ovulations I've ever seen. She's a big girl. She's about 2,500 grams or so. So I'm hoping that means that we get a good clutch out of her because we could be making some OD blade lightning pies that are heck clown with the male that I bred her to. So I'm hoping for a, an awesome clutch from her. She should be prelay shedding here at some point. This girl is the other one. She's a little smaller, so I'm not expecting a big clutch out of her, but she's Probably, I would say, two weeks behind her in terms of ovulating and having a prelay shed. So I'm hoping she goes as well. Um, let's see what other snakes. We actually just had this one shed yesterday. Um, prelay shed yesterday. She's been, she's absolutely huge. So we're hoping for OD blade pastel leopard clowns out of this clutch that are going to be het pied and pos het MJ Xanthic. This ultramel female is having her... About to have her prelay shed, if you can see by her eyes there. So we're looking for like five or six gene ultra males here that are going to be het pied. So that's a big one. Um, that that male again, the OD blade pie double het clown MJ. I just put him in with this female for the first time, and they immediately locked, which you can't see there. But so this is an he's OD blade pied het clown and MJ. This is an OD blade clown female so what i'm hoping for here are from some super od super blade clowns that are het pied in mj which are going to be awesome for for breeding purposes for me in the future especially ones i can test out mj exanthic because it'll, if i get any clowns out of that clutch they will 100 percent be het pied anyways this male is kind of the disappointing male for the year here um, this is my, I think it's ODYB Leopard Confusion Pinstripe Possible Fire Double Het DG Clown male that I got from Canova last year. He's over a year old at this point, but has just kind of refused to lock with anybody. So I'm trying to throw him in with some proven females. This girl laid for me last year, and she's huge again, so she's a pastel lesser leopard clown. Um, trying to throw him in with proven females because he's not locking anybody. But still, obviously, no luck here. <coughs> Excuse me. Get her back in there. All right, let's see. I threw a couple other males in over... Where are we at? Here. Nothing. Nothing here. I'm trying to make some more... This is a dirty tub that needs cleaned out. Um, trying to make some DG clowns here, but these two are not pairing up yet. This is the first time I threw this male in with any females. Nothing going on yet. So he's a, got him from JP Reptiles Canada. Black Pastel Red Stripe Cypress Leopard Redhead Possible Yellow Belly Clown. And that's a Pastel Pied Het Clown female. So I'm trying to make some, you know, more of him, but with Het Pied. And I'm trying to work his genes into the, um, into the clown pied project basically with him i'm trying to breed him to most of the clowns i have no lock here this is a pied head ultra male female in my od leopard firefly uh, yellow belly possible enchi ultra male het pied male that i bred a ton of last year let's see that's about it i this is oh he just shed so that's good he shed overnight so that's this is my Leo Blackhead Mojave Triple Het Hypo Pied Black Exanthic Male that I got from Canova a few years back that has been making all of my Black Exanthic babies. Um, so he just shed. He's been eating very well. 
it's really the first time he's started eating well since since breeding last year. So I am not going to be um, pairing him up to anybody anytime soon. I'm trying to let him grow out. I actually just sold the visual black exanthic male like him. So my plan was maybe to sell him and keep the, the hatchling that I had. But now that the hatchling sold, he's obviously not going to go anywhere because I might still need him. I'm not sure if I can't test for black exanthic yet. So I don't know if the other two males I kept from this year are going to be, you know, pet for black exanthic. Um, but this is one of the black exanthic females that he bred to this past year. Not not as striking as you'd think compared to what the babies look like, but I really want to see the black head leopard Mojave black exanthics as adults compared to this, because she's just a plain black exanthic. But, I mean, he looks cool as an adult, um, and he's not a visual black exanthic, he's just a hat. But, I mean, he's made some of the best snakes that I've produced. Um, actually, I'm going to get out the hypo pied. Figure out where he is in this rack. Let's see. I made two of these guys. Sorry, this is a bad camera angle. Uh, I made two of these guys this past year I, when I bred him to Hypo Pied. And so this is one of his boys. This is. So that's the Black Head Leopard Mojave Hypo Pied Posset Black Exanthic. I made two, two of these guys. So my goal, um, that's a dad there, is to prove those out because especially because actually these two black exanthic females I have three of them but two of them that laid good clutches last year they're not related to these babies here so i'm going to breed one male to this female and then i'm going to breed another male to this female if i can't test for black exanthic by the time they're ready to breed and that's going to be how i have to prove them out um so hopefully one or both prove out because obviously then then dad really can probably sold off because I, I, there's no need for him anymore because I have a double visual het, whereas he's just a triple het. So that's a huge upgrade over dad. Um, and these guys are crazy. I want to make more of these. I'm actually going to work, if I can, I'm actually going to breed one of those to this crazy looking pinstripe hypo pie this season once she's ready and once the boys are ready. Try to get some more pattern back into that combo because this like gray silver head is probably one of the most unique things that I've produced. There you go. That's actually a really good color there. Craziest looking snake that I've made <laughs> this year, I think. Still still my favorite. Oop, how you dad? Hey dad. What's going on? How you doing, buddy? So yeah, that's baby boy there. Um, hopefully we can get some neat clutches out of this pairing here with this hypopod. Um, but yeah, this is, that's the goal with this project. I'm actually kind of more curious to see what it does with the hypopied stuff than I am with the black exanthic stuff. Um, I, I just think this, this hypopied project with these jeans, if I can bring back a little more pattern in it is really going to create something that's completely unique. Um, that probably haven't seen before. I don't know. I have still haven't seen more of what this guy is. Um, since I produced them last year. So I don't know, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure Justin has some because I got this mail from Justin. Um, so obviously he's been working on this project a lot longer than I have. So I'm sure he has snakes like this, but I haven't seen them. Um, but yeah, just crazy, crazy snakes. Um, trying to hit more of these this season and, uh, you know, more black exanthic, but early this year, um, you know, it looks like we're going to be lightning pied heavy um we have you know those two females going uh that male really is the male that i have that's doing the most work so far early in the season so uh, he's really going to be the guy that you know is fathering like pretty much most of the clutches that i'm producing it the early part of the season until somebody else wants to pick up the game um my leopard red stripe yellow belly triple head DG Clown Pied Male, um, he's a proven breeder, and he did start locking up with uh, some of my DG Clown Females, because that Confusion Male isn't. So I'm hoping that um, he's able to, to, to start locking them up and make me some babies earlier in the year with that. I was kind of hoping the Confusion Male would, but I had a backup. I, I don't typically keep a backup snake um, for, for breeding purposes. But because that confusion male just wasn't doing anything, 
you know, having a backup mail for that was kind of important. And I can use that, the triple head mail for DG Pied stuff, for DG Clown stuff, for Clown Pied stuff. So he works kind of in three different projects in one project, which is uh, DG Clown Pied. And I actually have a female that I'm growing up that's a Pied double head DG Clown that I got last year from Chimera. So my hope is that she's big enough to breed this year. So there's an outside shot that we can make a triple visual with that. I don't, I mean, it's a very long shot because he's a triple het and she's a single visual double het. But there's still a chance. There's a little bit of a chance there. Um, so, you know, I'm, the reason I kept both of those Black and Leopard Mojave Hypopides, it was not only because um, I can't test for Black Exanthic, so I don't know which one is het Black Exanthic or if any of them are, but I wanted to have two for breeding purposes in case one didn't grow or wasn't ready to breed. And it turns out one of them is growing a little faster than the other one. One went off food for quite a few weeks. He's back on now, but the other one's probably 150, 200 grams bigger at this point. So, yeah, it's always good to have backup plans if you can afford them.